And tell it like it is Sports Talk Podcast with your host, Saint Superfan, So Saint, along with co host Mike Teasy, and last but not least, Hakeem the Dream. We talking Saints, we talking Pelicans, we talking Tigers, and much, much more. Sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. And remember, nothing personal, it's just straight biz. We coming at you on Tell It Like It Is. Let's go! I go by soul. I call me a saint. What's up, everybody? Welcome to another edition of Tell It Like It Is Sports Talk Podcast, where we don't sugarcoat shizn it. Just real talk from three real brothers. I'm your host, Soul Saint. And as usual, Saints plus Soul equals Super Bowl. Hey, we got a big show tonight. We got a short show tonight uh, because our pals come on at 7 o'clock. So we came on a little early. We came on uh, for 6. Uh, so we hope we caught everybody. Uh, they home from work and then ate and then got comfortable. Uh, my boy, Mike Teasy, he, he should be coming in a little later. But right now, I got my boy up in that dirty, dirty, dirty bird country. You know him. Third Ward. Charity Hospital. Hot sausage with a peach big shot. I came to dream. Yeah, bro, that's what's happening. Yes, indeed. That is I. That is I. I'm in enemy territory, but there's nothing about me that like Falcon fan. I don't even like them in my gumbo. So, you know what I'm saying? Right. Just so for anybody that's watching, I ain't no other <laughs> undercover Falcon fan. I just live in enemy territory. You know what I'm saying? But shout out to my boy Soul for the introduction. Oh, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And hopefully all y'all are having a good day. Like, share, and subscribe because we're trying to grow, you know what I'm saying? The the you know, our platform people. And it's you know, y'all been good to us. Let everybody know all the stuff that we talk, you know what I'm saying? It's because of y'all. So thank y'all for being the people that y'all live supporting the channel. You and know what just, I'm saying? Just, just want to tell y'all we love y'all. Uh we've been Absolutely. having this show for three years. You know, yes, uh, I think he didn't start with us, but uh, you know, he came on and he been mm -hmm. he been doing it with us for the last, I think, probably two years. Two years, yeah, yeah. two years, bro. Uh, so you know, uh, we thank y'all, thank y'all for y'all support and get more viewers. You know, but yes, we appreciate y'all very much. Uh, yep. Let me reach out to my people. We got Miranda in the house. Hey, Miranda, what's Ms. going Brother? on? What's happening? What's happening? <laughs> yep. We got my boy Perry over here on the North Show. One of my neighbors over here. What's going on, man? Show. What's happening? What's up? What's up? What's up, Miranda? Yep. Teasy, Teasy was uh he doing uh he doing a little something, so he's gonna be in a little later. He couldn't come in right now. Uh, what's up to me? How you doing? Hey, Miss T. Guy? How you doing? Kenny yes, Ben Wild, where you been? Where you been, what's up, Kenny? What's going on, man? <laughs> What's happening? What's, What's happening? happening? How y'all doing? What's happening? Steve. Hey. Me. What up, Steve-O? Australia. Yes, I indeed. The land the down world. under. Them damn animals Woo! out there, man. I don't know. Bruh, I just saw a kangaroo punch somebody in the face today. <laughs> 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 Bruh, they, they, man, they got some stuff going on down there in Australia. What's mm -hmm. up, Jerry? What's happening? Yeah. What's happening? So we're going to get right into it because we have a, 
Uh, like I said, we got a short show today. Remember, abbreviated uh, show. You're watching Tell It Like It Is Sports Talk Podcast with your host, Saints, Soul Saint, Mike Teasy, and mm -hmm. Hakeem the Dream. First, yeah, you know, we can always go NFL. Saints ain't too much happening with our Saints right now. You know, they kind of idle, you know, but uh, big NFL news the Texans uh, make a big trade with the Buffalo Bills, man. Big and trade. This, this team has gone in the last couple of years from worse, and they might be first. You know what I'm Brother, saying? They, <laughs> I, I, I told Vinny B this. Shout out Vinny B. I told Vinny B this last, uh, uh, you know, uh, him and Mike this like maybe a week and a half ago. They are my Super Bowl pick for next year in the AFC. Mm -hmm. Yes. They have the young quarterback that they drafted. I know Carolina still kicking themselves in the ass on that one. They got a young head coach who relates to them. And they have made four offseason moves that are that have made their team pretty much, I mean, contenders. Yeah. They went out and got yeah. Joe Mixon at running back. Mm -hmm. They just traded for Stefan Diggs, who is a number one wide receiver. Right. You know what I'm saying? They signed Daniel Hunter from the Minnesota Vikings to help. Anderson on the other side rushed the passer. Mm -hmm. Hey man, the Texans, Texans, uh, yeah, you, they trending you, you up. Say Diggs is a top five receiver. You know what I'm saying? You, you can make that argument. He's definitely mm -hmm. top ten. You could definitely yeah. make. You can make that argument. He's definitely top ten. Yeah. You know what I'm saying for sure. So uh, yeah, the Texans gonna be all right, bro. I, I you know, it, again, I know we're in the spring, my brother, but right now my early Super Bowl favorites, even though the Super Bowl gonna be in our city. Saints ain't gonna come close. Sorry, sorry, uh, uh, home team. But my Super Bowl picks are the Houston Texans and the Green Bay Packers. Yeah. Those are my Super Bowl. You know, what I'm saying my my, my picks early. That's you know, pick. so yeah, mm -hmm. man. Well, you know me. I'm always staying with my homes. Hopefully, they get Absolutely. a little better. They'll be smart. Absolutely, you can't count them out. And some right. people that you can't count them out. Yeah, absolutely. Can't come out, but uh, nah, you good, as bro. As I AFC, mean, as far as the NFC, mm -hmm. um, like you said, bro, I'm looking at um, at, at Green Bay myself, bro. I'm looking Dang. at Green Bay myself. What's to up, me Vince? They have the, what's up, Vince? Um, to me, they have the best young core right. of wide receivers in the league, and then when you add the step that the quarterback took last year because everybody thought they were going to fall flat on their face because Mr. Rogers wasn't in the neighborhood last year. Right. But Jordan, hey, Jordan Love got it together, bro. You know what I'm saying? And they played the 49ers really tough last year in that playoff game. Mm -hmm. They wasn't that far off, bro. A play here and a play there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, yeah, bro, Green Bay going to be – and we play them again up there next year. They're on the schedule. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. So – Right. We'll get to see him again next. Hopefully, we don't give up an eighteen-point lead like we did this year. Exactly. Because to be honest with you, my brother, that was the reason we didn't make the playoffs. If we had won that game, yeah. that game, we'd have yeah. been in the playoffs. And you know that one game turned around the, the pack, pack of season two. Yep, because, because they, they were they, like, yeah, yeah, they, they were like one and four or something that like that. that. And that comeback, <laughs> that comeback mm -hmm. just little found them. Yep, you know. Yep. If, yep. you, if you look back at that, 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 uh, man, <laughs> you mm -hmm. know, and, and they, they were on fire ever since. I think yes, they might have lost maybe one or two games for the rest of the season. Yep. You know, crazy, bro. It's crazy. Mm -hmm. uh, so Diggs goes to the Texans. Uh, Randy Gregory signed to the Bucks, outside linebacker. Uh, Randy Gregory. Help their pass rush. Mm -hmm. Yep. Help their, yeah, a little bit. Um, but as far as, any other NFL news? Like I said, we're just getting ready for the draft. Um, mm -hmm. You know, so, you know, it's nothing much, uh, nothing much big that's going on right now. Um, mm -hmm. One thing I wanted to do, I wanted to uh, do it with Mike was on here, but we could still get his. But I just wanted to, uh, as far as edge rushes, you know, that's mm -hmm. something the Saints, I feel, need. You know, mm -hmm. uh, hopefully uh, your boy, his surgery will be successful. And we'll have him for the start of the season and Chase Young. Mm -hmm. But Kakeem, yeah, give me your top five edge rushes. 
your top five in the entire in the in, yeah. in the entire league. Now, yeah, do you yeah. want me to? Now, do you want me to put numbers on them, like who I think is five, four, three, two, one? Or you just want me to yeah, name five? Yeah, like people? that, like that. Top okay. five, yeah. Start from five and then go to one. That'll be good. Yeah. Oh, okay. Um, for me, this is my list, and so you know it's fluid. I know everybody got their own. <laughs> So this, like Stephen A. says, even though he's a clown, you know what I'm saying? It is the list is fluid, but based off of uh, last season, mm-hmm. okay. My top five are at number five. At number five, I got. Hey, I wish I had a little bit more time to think about it. At five, I'm gonna go Bosa. With the 49ers, even though he did not have a really good season last year, right? He didn't have a really good year. Right. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm gonna go 97 for the 49, you know, mm-hmm. because his overall game is good. He's good against the run, right. and you know what I'm saying? He can pass rush. Right. That ain't bad. Okay. Yeah. Nah, nah, yeah, right. Number four on the list. Um, personally, well, I like Hassan Reddick. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He was with Philadelphia. Now yeah. Yeah. he's with the dog. He he's he's with the Jets. He just got traded to the Jets. Mm-hmm. Now, the top three. Woo. Yeah, yeah, bro. <laughs> top three. Oh boy. Top three is tough. Top three is tough. Um okay. Number three for me. Um Target number three. Let me. Oh man. Uh, I'm gonna say Daniel Hunter. I'm gonna say Daniel Hunter. Yeah, Daniel Hunter. I'm I'm going to say Daniel Hunter. Um, I mean, I think he had 13 sacks last year, something like that. Um, but number two. Now this is this is the controversy. (laughs) Might make a lot of Steelers fans mad, but number two for me is T.J. Watt. T.J. Okay. TJ okay. Watt is number two. Yeah. And for me. Now you're getting in my list. <laughs> now, yeah. The most feared, the most technically sound, speed the power guy. You know what I'm saying? In the lead. You know what I'm saying? My number one pass rusher is Miles Garrett. Yeah. He yeah. may not put the sack numbers up, but it's how he affects the game as far as it's going on. Now, if you you can make an argument that TJ is probably the best, you know, pure get after the quarterback guy in the league. But right. total football, total player on the edge. Nah, it's Miles Garrett, bro. He's a standard. He's a standard as far as edge rush, in my opinion. All right, so who you got? I mean, just here, here with your guy. Yeah. Now, at number mm-hmm. five, and like mm-hmm. I said, we've seen him where he has been ineffective when he needed mm-hmm. to be. But at number right. five, I got uh, Michael Parsons. I got oh, Michael Parsons, and I know I knew it, I was missing somebody. Else. I knew I was missing somebody. <laughs> How the hell I didn't get him? Yes, indeed. I got yes, indeed. At five, I got Michael Parsons. Uh-huh. Um, at four, I got uh. Yeah, I should be slapping out. Mm-hmm. I got hey, bro. I got Max Crosby, bro. I got he's Max a dog. Crosby. He's a dog. He's an effort guy. <laughs> he's a real good effort guy. That, that's not bad. That's not bad. That's not bad. At at number three, I got Nick Bosa. Mm I got Nick Bosa. At Mm -hmm. number two, I got TJ Watt. Mm -hmm. And just like you, at number one, I got my boy Miles Garrett. Okay, so we we agree with one and two. Um, But yeah, I I, I royally effed up, man. I should have had Parsons on the list. Um, I probably could, I probably should replace Parsons. of my Hassan Reddick, really, you know Parsons. what I'm saying? What's called yeah, Parsons, yeah, but Parsons. I already made my list, so I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and stick with it. But Parsons is, yeah, yeah. yeah. If we can Michael get Parsons Nick, is Nick come on here, try to remember because I want to get his top five just to see if it's close yeah. to ours. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. But um, you know, moving on, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go over to our our pals right quick. Um, yeah, man, we hit a rough spot. Let me tell you something, bro. I, you know, <laughs> you know, we, we we grew up with Michael Jordan being mm-hmm. unstoppable. 
people, bro. Um, but you know, it's embarrassing to me that my Pelicans cannot stop Devin Booker. This dude, mind let, let me tell you, this is historic, Hakeem. Oh, Only yeah. one player Very in history, up. one player in history has scored 50 points on a team three straight times, and that's Will Chamberlain. Will Chamberlain. <laughs> this dude, bro, after the first 50 points, we would have said, you know what? Devin Booker is not going to beat us this time. Flex him. He scored 50 tackle him. Then he did Beat him up when he get off the bus. He did you know what I'm saying? Then the, then the third time the other night, I'm like, mm -hmm. I know they ain't gonna let Devin Booker score 50 again. This dude scored 50 points on the Pelicans back to back to back. You know what's amazing? You know, I, I, mm -hmm. I wrote it on face. I wrote it on Facebook, bro. I put a little article on there. I know where mm -hmm. he's getting the inspiration to do it, but yeah. it's a it's sad that we can't stop it. Yeah. I sat. I sat around his whole family, bro. His grandpa, mm -hmm. his mm -hmm. daddy, his mm -hmm. cousins, his best friend from childhood was sitting right yeah. by me, bro. And you should have heard him, sniper, mm -hmm. sniper, sniper. You got to take it, sniper. <laughs> Look at that step back. <laughs> I'm just looking at him like y'all ain't lying, bro. Well, we cannot stop this dude. Was y'all sitting yeah. behind? Was y'all sitting behind the the son's bench yes. because they had a bunch of Devin Booker yes. jersey? Yes. So y'all was in that set. Okay. Then. Nice point. Mm -hmm. Nice point mm -hmm. jersey. I'm like, yes, I was indeed. Right there. You know, mm -hmm. so I had to just say, "Hey, y'all, that Devin, he doing it for y'all, bro." That, that's yeah. sad. Go cool. cool. fifty plus points on a team three straight times, bro. That's embarrassing to me. That's yeah. Really embarrassing. Really so let's go. Let's go with the first one though. Now. The first game that he scored the 50, he actually scored 58, and that was last year. <laughs> now, the game before he scored the 58, the Pels beat them. That's when Zion dumped the ball, like, you know, did the 360 dunk at the end of, you know what I'm saying, at the end of the game right. Right. when, you know, it kind of pissed him off. Right. The and next they had, game, they had, we, Chris Paul. they had Chris Paul. The next game when we played them in Phoenix, Keep in mind, the sun, the 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 Pels was up twenty points in that game. He wound up scoring fifty eight. So that was one. That was game one of the of the fifty point barrage. That was last year. Fast forward to this year. The first game that we played, he had forty at halftime. Wind up getting fifty two, and then he turns around and hits us over the head for fifty two again. Now, this is the more pressing thing, my brother. This is what. I don't know if you see this, but don't you think that that's a Willie Green problem? You watched a guy score 104 points on you. One guy, not a team. One guy scores 104 points on you in two games, and you had not made a single adjustment. Hakeem, that's what let me know. 150 plus points in three games. And 150 some points in three games. Now, how do you explain that? I, th there is no explanation. That lets you know that Willie Green is still too right. This team is too talented. Man, look what Vinny said, bro. Vinny said it's Zion fault. It shouldn't be oh, nobody's fault. Oh. I don't care what Ain't we no, did. No, come on, man. What, what, what is that? <laughs> like, I, how is it Zion's fault? Devin Booker is not Jordan. And that's who he, that's who we, that's who he looked like against us. Oh, hold on, put the comment back up. Let me let me see the rest of it when you read. He said Zion's fault, but what? Should have never done. <laughs> yeah, okay. I see you, Vince. Yeah, hey, I'm gonna laugh with you on that. Hey, you're right because that was the fire starter, Vince. That was the fire starter, the dunk. You're right. So guess what? I apologize, Vincent. You're right, man. <laughs> up, that was Zion's fault. It was Zion's fault because he got it started. <laughs> But like I You're said, right. when you start something, mm -hmm. you got to be able to finish it. And, and yeah, we, we, we cannot even slow Devin Booker down. That's crazy. And guess what? We get to see him again on Sunday, so we get to see him again on Sunday Bruh, in Phoenix. If that dude <laughs> scored 50 again, y'all need y'all ass whoop. Let Kevin oh. score 50. Let Kevin Durant yeah. get 50. Right. Double team, go meet Kevin Booker. I mean, Devin Booker out at 
bro, yeah. do not let that door I, 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 on yo. I'm talking like we should we should be on some savage What's stuff. Up, What's up, Glow? How you doing, ma? We should be on some savage stuff. This is what I would do on Sunday. I would go and put a padlock on his house door so he can't even leave that mud. I flat his tires. You know what I'm saying? I put some laxative in his cereal. All that. I'm trying to cheat the win on Sunday. Yeah, Do not yeah. let that man walk in the building. Do not let him walk in the building because if he walks in that building on Sunday, we in trouble, bro. That's a laugh. That is, we we trying to be the laughing stock against this dude, bro. Yeah. Yes, indeed. That, that that's pitiful, bro. That is so yes, embarrassing. I wanted to go and, up under my seat in the Smoothie King, bro. Even though and, we and cut look, it to seven, we came right. back and put it to seven. Mm -hmm. Still. For him to have one man have 50 plus points, three straight games, bro, is ridiculous. And there was no, and people was like, well, why don't you put Herb on him? Look, these are NBA players. As good as a defender as Herb is, he's gonna have nights where he get cooked too. Yeah. Some some guys, I mean, the Devin Book is just that offensively gifted. He, he bro. had Najee on him. He just he yeah, had Herb he had, on him. Nobody could they stop do some, him. Nobody could stop him. The ball was in too good of a rhythm. And as a matter of fact, it's starting to be crunch time, bro, because looking at the standings, yeah, the way things going, we're going to fall tight. into the play-in. Yeah. We're only one game up on the Suns, and the you Mavericks are right there, too. So if you we do. lose tonight, we might be in sixth or seventh place. Yeah. Yeah, man. And we still got Golden State and the Lakers, who are catching fire. We still got, I think we got one more game with the Kings. You're right, Beyond. You know what I'm saying? Between, yeah. Yeah, both, uh, B, that, that was a tough night. I ain't even get to, I ain't even get to sleep. I went to work the next day. Is, I was I'm, I'm on my up. phone at the Pelicans game watching the LSU. You know, they said everybody game. was doing that. It's a closer <laughs> game than the one I'm watching, than the one I'm at. They said you. everybody was doing that. They said everybody was doing that. Everybody, bro. <laughs> I'm in a Pels chat, and the lady had an LSU shirt on going to the Pels game. She said that's what she was gonna be doing, watching it on her on her phone. So yeah, that that was a that was a rough night, bro. My my girls got sent home, and God dog, and the yeah. Pels took an L, an embarrassing and L. And that's the next topic. Um, like I said, yes, the uh, Pels play Orlando tonight, and mm -hmm. uh, you know, hopefully we can get back on the winning track. Uh, that, that, that we haven't beaten Orlando in three years, so. Yeah, I know. That's, that's another that, team that we just can't figure out for whatever reason. We haven't beaten them in three reason, right. years. Right. So um, our LSU Tigers, um, LSU uh, Lady Tigers fall to Caitlin Claw. I'm going to say yeah. Caitlin Claw because she was – how many assists she had, uh, Hakeem? Twelve. Twelve assists, 40-some points. So you can say she beat LSU. Oh, yeah. She did. Now, you know, like we were discussing a, a little bit before this, it's not the fact that she got the 41. Don't get me wrong. That's incredible. I'm not taking anything away from her. This whole GOAT conversation, I can't put in the GOAT conversation because she ain't won nothing. You know what I'm saying? But as a score, I think she may be the best player in the women's college game ever. She's not better than Brianna Stewart, who's won four national championships. She's not better than uh, Candace Parker, who won two at Tennessee. She's not better than Diana Taurasi that, you know what I'm saying, won two at UConn. Like, people got to put that into the discussion. Now, she, as far as her being the greatest She might be the best scorer, yeah. Yes. Sure, yeah, I, 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 I'm throwing my hands up on that one. She is that. <laughs> she is that. And not only that, bro, she hit them from Steph Rank. She low-going. She was low-going Haley Van Lip. Low-going her. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, I'm like, oh, my God. But the thing that killed us, it wasn't the fact that she got the 41 because we knew she was going to get hers. You're it right, was the 12 right. assists that got us. You know why? Because not only was she getting her points, if she's assisting on baskets, that means her help is helping her, too. Mm -hmm. Because if you look at the box score, hold on. If you look at the box score, so LSU had four players in double figures. Angel mm -hmm. had 17 points, 20 rebounds. Morrow had 14 points, 14 rebounds. Yeah, Flaj yeah, 
Flaw J had 23 points, six rebounds. Michaela had 18 points and seven rebounds. Mm -hmm. Haley finishes with nine points, shooting two for eight from the field. Yeah, Haley Van Litten just that ex look, I don't think that I, look, let me tell you that I don't think that the girl's a bad basketball player because we got too much tape on her. When she was at Louisville, she was a 20-point scorer for three years in a row. She could put the ball in the basket. You know what, Hakeem? I think what it was was the stress of having to stick Caitlin Clark. It probably got her off her. Oh, bro, that's it just, just, just got her out of game, and she couldn't. So, What's her? She was missing bad too. She was one ball. She didn't so, even hit the goal. That bro, she was two for eight from the field. But so this was a, a microcosm of everything that was going on all year. Kim Mulkey, as much as I respect Coach, she took that girl completely out of what she does best. And that's her playing off the basketball. She tried to make her a point guard. I am so disappointed in her in that aspect because as a coach, why, all season, you had 30-some-odd games to see that this was not – What's up, MJ? This doesn't work. This does not work. She needs to be off the ball. That's what made her a good basketball player at Louisville. You still try to make her a point guard. The girl was uncomfortable all season. You put pressure on her, she's going to turn the ball over. You know what I'm saying? She had a couple of turnovers in, in this game this, this past. Now, don't get me wrong. Poor turns the ball over, too. But Poor is still under control more. Mm -hmm. Haley is playing like, you know what I'm saying? Like, oh my God, I can't make a mistake. Like, she played with too much nerves this year. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? And unfortunately, in a big time game like that, you cannot afford to have it. She averaged seven points a game in the three tournament game. And she was supposed to be the number one transfer out of the transfer portal. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, right. to me, it's a combination of both her and Coach Mulkey not adjusting. Kim stuck to her guns and it burnt us this year. You know what I'm saying? So LSU is still the better team, dudes. Best part about Caitlin for Iowa is we're gonna get better recruits now. It's coming to Iowa. Mm. Yeah, LSU the better team, but, but who ain't Cleveland? Yeah. That's about I mean, that's the bottom line. I mean, I agree with you there. We got the better team, but the better team lost. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that that ain't that. You know? Right. right. So You're definitely right. You're definitely right, man. So you so, know, but um, you know, and this ain't the reason. Shout out, shout out to our girls. They had a, a good season. They had to fight. Great uh, season. From the first game in the NCAA tournament. They had to fight. They lost uh a heartbreaker in the SEC tournament. Yep. Um you know, and that that's what kind of knocked them the third seed. But you mm -hmm. know, uh, I don't know. I mean, what you think? You think Caitlin Clark gonna 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 take it over South Carolina twice? Bro, it, it sure look like a setup. It sure look like a setup. But let me say this: when I say it looks like a, it's I'm, again, I'm not diminishing her ability. I think she's incredible. You know what I'm saying? But. If you saw the West Virginia game that they played before they played LSU, how all the calls, like West Virginia didn't shoot a free throw in the second half. They didn't shoot a free throw. Caitlin Clark <laughs> shot like 13 or 14 free throws in the second half. So, you know, it, it, you, you have little conspiracy theories in, in between there. But to me, LSU should have beat them by 10, at least by 10 points. Right. You know what I'm saying? Now they go. Now they playing UConn Friday night. I'm gonna watch that game. Right. I like UConn. Paige Becker. UConn got that big girl. What's her name? The big girl. Aaliyah Edwards. Aaliyah yeah. Edwards. Yeah, she's pretty good. Um, but I tell you what, man. The key to me, the key to the LSU loss. Also, we yeah. don't shoot threes. We don't shoot threes. The offensive philosophy so is right. get the ball bang, inside. Bang, bang, bang. Get the Banging ball in. inside. Now, did we have an advantage there? Absolutely. Morrow and Angel both was eaten. But for every time we came down and shot two, mm -hmm. Caitlin pulled up from the logo and hit three. So guess what? Three beats two. So you're going to be down one every possession. The philosophy on offense has to change, Coach Monkey. You have to start incorporating an offense 
in which you have snipers out there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? That's shooting three. Once, once you get that offense going, it opens up the inside because now everybody's afraid to give up the long ball. Now you could throw it inside and let Anissa Morrow eat. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Instead of playing bully ball from the jump, and instead of playing inside, you know, going inside and then passing it out, you should do it the other way. Right. You know what I'm saying? Play outside in. Yeah. I mean, that's just me, you know, because the way the game is being played on all levels, the NBA, what's, what's, the, most, what's the biggest weapon? The three-point shot, right? right? Look at the men's final four. Look how Alabama shoots the three-point shot. That's why they in the final four. They yeah. shooting 35, 43. They might only make 12 or 13. But they shoot them because that gives you opportunities to grab rebounds, mm -hmm. run, go ahead, get the ball inside. If you got a low post present, and they can score. That's what it is. So the all to me, the offensive philosophy got to go ahead and change too. But like my man said, we got a lot coming back, even though our girl is leaving. We got a lot coming back. Flavia is coming back. Morrow's coming back. You got Del Rosario, the big girls coming back. Uh, mm -hmm. they just got. Uh, uh, Wolfensberger. Yeah, yeah. What's Wolfensberger from Arkansas is in the transfer portal. Yeah, yeah. She's coming. We just picked up a commitment from the number one player in the state of New Mexico, a five nine yeah. shooting guard. Yeah. Uh, 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 Bella, Bella, I forgot what her last name yeah. is. Bella, Bella Hines, I think. Bella, yeah. yeah, Bella Hines or something like that. She's good. You got Jada Rashard, the number one player in the state of Louisiana, the little point guard from Lafayette Christian. She averaged 26 points a game. So we're not going to be talent depleted like Iowa is going to be after this. So I feel good about next year's team, too. But it's yeah. going to be Flaugier's team, though. It's time for – it's, it's going to be Big Four team now. Gonna be you fun. know what I'm saying? So Yeah. 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 And, and Flaugier so, reminds me of um, – what's your girl name that used to play with uh, – she went to the WNBA. You know what I'm talking about. She had a, a – she was uh, suspected of, of messing with the coach, Pokey, back then, back in the day. <laughs> you talking about Simone? Nah, nah, not Simone Augustus. Uh, yeah, you yeah, talking about Augustus. Oh, Augustus. <laughs> Simone, yeah. Yeah, that's a, yeah, bro. Oh, yeah. boy, that's crazy. So, yeah, 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 yeah. One thing about Flora J, she could create her own shot. You know, yes. Um, she could take Terrific it Terrific athlete. She shoot from out. She could shoot from outside. Mm-hmm. Bruh. She has had a fantastic NCAA tournament, a right. fantastic NCAA. She had 23. She led the team in scoring, but it looked like she didn't even get that many shots up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Last game. You know what I'm saying? And so and if you think about it, a lot of the games in the NCAA tournament, she sparked us to come back and win. You yes, know sir. She did. She got us to. Yes, sir. She did. Yeah, you know? she, she sure did. She sure did. Big four, boy. Big four. It ain't my I fault. I can't wait to see him next year. I can't Me wait too, to bro. see if we're going to develop that, that six five point guard, uh, mm -hmm. uh, Wolfenberger. You know, yep. I mean, yep. Man, Maybe. look, I, I I have, you know, these girls, and and if they watching, uh, the LSU girls, women, I want to thank y'all because y'all have reinvigorated yes, my love for women's college basketball because it was so dormant for mm -hmm. so many years. Yeah. And then, you know, what I'm saying y'all came along and became the Beatles. The reason that all these girls are getting NIL deals is because of how LSU girls played. That's right. LSU girls bought all the swag back to college mm -hmm. basketball. Look at the TV. They the reason. Going up. You know, the they, TV they, ratings they, going they, up. They, they, they even I, even the, uh, like you said, the NBA, uh, they had better ratings than the NBA. You know, it's crazy, bro. It's crazy. They opened the door for the NIL for women in college mm -hmm. sports. Blaje mm -hmm. and Angel was the spark plug for that. Not everybody's eating. You know what I'm saying? Haley mm -hmm. got Haley Van Lip got Adidas. Uh uh Michaela Williams got Jordan Brand. You know, um, you know, Juju Watkins out there, at USC. She got a bunch of stuff. Uh, you know, we know mm -hmm. Caitlin Clark, she on, you know, she was state farm and everybody else. She she got three million dollars worth. But that all started with our girls down here at LSU. Our girls put the swag and all that. And I didn't know Juju and as a result, was a freshman. That's the I trend. didn't know Juju was a freshman. Bro. And she got three more years. 18, <laughs> she, she's only 18 years old. 18. Wow. Bad little sister, bro. 
Where's she from? Women's college basketball. She's from LA. She's from uh, she, okay. her, and, her and Bronny James, LeBron's son, LA. went to the yeah. same high school, Sierra Canyon. Okay. They went to Sierra Canyon, you know, together. So, okay. wow. yeah, man. That young women's yeah. college basketball Shout is where it's at right now. Women's college basketball. Shout out. Hopefully the NBA yeah. will get some, some – uh, because that was another big thing. Uh, Angel Reese declared that she was going to the NBA, WNBA. Uh, and uh, so I'm going to miss you, baby, but I understand. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, she could have came missing. back and tried to get another championship because Kate – Kate, is Caitlyn uh, still gonna be here? Uh, no, uh, -uh she gone too. She, she was gone the first too. one to declare. She was the first one. She mm -hmm. was the, she she announced back in February that she was gone. Okay. Huh? Cardosa. Uh, not a second round pick right there. Might be. Yeah, but I don't bro. know. Yeah, Cardosa. Somebody might want a big man, a big woman. <laughs> Yeah, look, you know? well, they got her projected to be the fourth overall pick, and Angel's projected to be the seventh overall pick. Okay. So, who's number yeah. one? Taylor? Yeah, of course. Yeah. <laughs> the Indiana Fever. The Indiana Fever will select her. They yeah. already got a jersey made out and everything. So, yeah, it, it's about to go down. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's, crazy. That's crazy. Well, but, um, Hey, shout out. Uh, we just want to talk about, uh, me and Hakeem was talking about it earlier, uh, all the hate that Angel Reese gets. And the reason so she was crying, you know, a couple of shows had her crying because she lost. That's not the reason she was crying. Tell you know? about it, bro. Hakeem Tell about it, it, bro. They break it down to him, Hakeem. Okay. So, Emmanuel Acho, if y'all ever watched the uh, show Speak for Yourself, it's him, LaShawn McCoy, uh, yeah. Joy Taylor, which is Jason Taylor's sister. And um and um James Jones used to play for the um Green Bay Packers, the wide receiver, right? right so right. Emmanuel Acho said mm -hmm. last night or, or the night of the game, he tweeted, Oh, you want to be the villain, and now when you lose, you want to start crying. As if Angel was crying that they lost the game. Now, right. see, this is why I have a problem with that. Because first of all, you become a coon because you know now now you you you're on a social you're on a social platform now that you get paid millions of dollars you know what i'm saying to talk sports and you want to go ahead and attack this young sister first of all she was not crying because she lost the game if you saw fly fly J spoke up for her. the reason angel was crying is she was emotional about all the stuff that she has gone through since she's won the national championship how people talk about how she looks her eyelashes you know what i'm saying her attitude all the nil stuff that she got you know what i'm saying the fact that people are attacking her as a person her character it's not about the game can't nobody say nothing about the game you know what i'm saying First team All-American SEC player of the year. She won a national championship the first year she was at LSU. What what, what is she going on? But because she doesn't look like your daughter. And I'm talking about, you know, uh, you know, that's a political show. But because, you know what I'm saying, she's not going around here shaking hands, kissing babies and all this other stuff. Because she's unapologetically who she is. And you know what? A lot of her is in us. I'm from the project, so I kind of share some of her attitude on, on certain things. You know what I'm saying? People discredit us anyway, so why not hold it? You know what I'm saying? But Emmanuel Acho chose to go ahead and attack the sister and call her cowardly almost for crying in the doggone presser when that's what, that wasn't what she was crying about. She was crying because all of the stuff that's been said about her unfairly you know what i'm saying and all the stuff that all, all the people that have attacked her for no doggone reason you know i mean for, for stupid stuff like how she dresses and all the noise that she talks on the court which caitlin clark has even admitted that everybody talks trash you know what i'm saying the men do it all the time exactly but when you see this tall attractive sister you know what i'm saying go ahead and do it now all of a sudden she, she's it's crazy, man. 
it, it is. It's 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 sad. You have a little technical <laughs> difficulty with King. Why don't you go out and come back in, King? Yeah, yeah. Why don't you go out and come back in? Mm. Mm. <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with King, but but like he was saying, you know, um, the 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 hate. And the stuff that she gets, she does not deserve. You know, she does not deserve that. You know, um, this girl, she has a swag about her. She has a certain style of play. Um, you know, and you have players all over the NBA that are like that. You know what I'm saying? And they don't get the hate that this girl gets. You know what I'm saying? She's just a different kind of player. She 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 likes to get up under your skin, stuff like that. So you know, I mean, for them to you know, just 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 hating on her like that is you know, is really kind of messed up. You know, really kind of messed up. So, you know, I lost my boy Keen. Um, like I said, all I was gonna talk about next was the uh, the final four is set. You got UConn versus Iowa and South Carolina versus NC State. Uh, here we go. I think he's coming back in. Let me see if he's ready. Looks like he's still having problems. Uh, there you go. Hello. So so so. Oh, there you go. You back. <laughs> yeah, you you had that cut out, man. Yeah, man. I don't, I'm. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, I can hear you. I can't. Yeah, yeah. I don't yeah, know what's man. going on with uh, with the internet and everything. But uh, yeah, the only man. thing I was gonna talk about, you got UConn versus Iowa, South Carolina versus mm -hmm. NC State. Who you got, bro? Who you got in the in the in the championship? And in the championship game, winning it, winning it all. All right, championship game. I got South Carolina versus UConn because I think UConn gonna go ahead and clip them up. I'm gonna give you know. <laughs> Uh, uh I know what to America wants to see. Yeah. Yeah. Put it into yeah. it because we should have we should have did the job. You know what I'm saying? So I'm going with UConn in, in South Carolina. And unfortunately, uh South Carolina's gonna go ahead and win because they got more depth. UConn has suffered, you know, they're only playing with eight players because five of players got like torn ACLs and stuff like that. So they don't have a lot of depth. You know what well, I'm saying? So I'm yeah. a little I'm, different. My my mind's a little different. Yeah. I got uh, hate to say it, but you know, and I, I mean, hey, look, don't think I'm hating because I'm not, you know. But uh, I'm a LSU, and that's that's my team. But I I got mm -hmm. I got Iowa edging UConn, mm -hmm. uh, and I got the rematch: South Carolina and over NC State, South Carolina Iowa, and I think South Carolina gonna do the job. And in it in the championship, so she'll make it yes, to sir. the championship. That's what I got. Mm -hmm. So yeah. we will. I see. think that's what America wants anyway. Yeah, I think that's what the 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 ESPN wants. I think that's what oh, the yeah. national media wants. Yes, yes. They they want this story to end with her hoisting the trophy some kind of way. Mm -hmm. And personally, mm -hmm. you know, what I'm saying I think it, it'll be a Rob job if she does. It'd be nice you know, if UConn so. just ended it early. So that way, yeah, I will pay. In case you, in case you might have to pay the refs uh, against South Carolina, yeah. and uh, you know, mm -hmm. because I don't see they just don't have the depth that South Carolina has, bro. Nobody you know, does. South Carolina goes deep. ten deep. Right. Exactly. That's why Nobody they lost a game. They came close. That's why they undefeated. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. LSU should have beat them. You know, I'm saying yeah. Angel five out the first game. So you know, it, it, it's. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Um, well, we yeah so I, I, that's okay. Yeah, we'll see. But I think America, you know, uh, these sports networks want, uh, you know, they, they want her to hoist that trophy, though. They want the storybook ending. Yeah. You know. So. Uh, Before we go, we're gonna leave a little early because I want to eat and get ready for this uh, Pelican game. But I just want to talk about, uh, you know, going out of sports a little bit, man. What you think about this P Diddy stuff, bro? 
You know, you think you think he is gonna be another P. Diddy like like uh like like uh R. Kelly? Hey, hey, Ron. Look, let me tell you what. what <laughs> it make me not want to do no. Don't don't look. We all sin and come short of the glory. But have you heard that video that his bodyguard put out? You know what I'm saying? Recording him. All kind of stuff. But that's what happens, bro. That's what happens. When one thing come out, everybody say, oh, well, she put that out, so I'm going to bring out my shit. You know what I'm saying? It's going to be a domino a effect. Reaction. It's going to be a domino, domino effect, effect, bro. Oh, we got my boy Mike Teasy in the house. Mike Teasy. What's up, bro? Hey. He got, yeah. he, you look like you chewing on that log. You, you on that yard bird, my boy? <laughs> you on it? Oh, Go okay on. then. Oh, oh, I thought I thought you had a two piece with Go with, on, with a hard biscuit and a red bean. Oh, okay then. <laughs> Everybody teasing in the building. Yeah, man. Go ahead and talk your noise, right. bro. Come on, bro. We about to get off, bro. You got you got three minutes to go ahead and cook. Let me tell you what we was talking about. I'm gonna go through each topic so you can comment on each topic. The first topic was the big okay. trade with the Texans. You know, digs yeah. going. How you feel about that? I think that's a win for Houston. You know what I'm saying? They got Nico Collins and got Mitchie, you got Tank Dell. That, that, that's something serious with Joe Mixon. Man, man that, 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 that's Tell gonna be something heart. serious to deal with. That's gonna Tell be something serious heart. to deal with. Mahomes <laughs> might have a little competition out there in the oh, he, oh, yeah, he got some count. He got some count. <laughs> yeah, he got some count. Yeah, he yeah. got some competition, but I yeah, thought yeah, that was yeah, a good Houston, one. Houston, like, like I said, bro, Houston went from worse and they might be first. You know what I'm saying? In two yeah. years. Yeah, two it's, years. It's, it's, amazing you, it's, a, it's amazing what you can do when you build the right way. Show, okay, you got cap space, and you get a brand new coach, and you but draft I, what, a what quarterback. And what I've been preaching yeah, for years, bro, you show sure have since twenty twenty one. You've been it's saying okay to suck. it's okay to suck two or three years in a row. It's okay to do that. You know what I'm saying? You can clear up some cap space. You can draft some talented players. You got the cream of the crop in the draft. You so. So more than likely, you can be able to hit them early rounds and early picks. You know, hopefully, if your scouting department doing what they're supposed to do. But mm -hmm. when you keep kicking that same can down the road, bro, and still ain't made the playoff. And that video that you sent with with, with Nick, uh, so, Nick what, Wright, that was right on point, bro. That was right on point with Nick Wright saying that, what, since that Drew video you sent. We made the playoff. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. that's a, it's, it's a science to this, bro. It's not difficult. It's a science to it, bro. Look at the, look at the teams in the division. Look at the teams in the division. What they do? It's a science to this, bro. Yeah, it's a science. But okay, just keep doing. It's going to be disappointment after disappointment after disappointment. And I choose not to sit up there and put my heart and soul up into it. I'm not doing it, bro. There'd be some massive changes. And what I mean by massive changes, I want Dennis Allen going first and foremost. And well, and just like we talked about it earlier, King, you know, so came in like 10 bit later and on it. Well, it's kind of hard to let go of a son of a biscuit who was written in the wheel <laughs> of the deceased owner, Mr. Beaton. So I guess I have to deal with Mickey Loomis <laughs> and and then and, 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 and Lausha. So I mean he wrote them in the wheel. What what owner in of the a wheel. franchise do that? Ain't Ken to yeah, him, ain't got no blood in his tomb at all. He loves you so much, he puts you in the wheel where only you can get rid of yourself. That's it. You got to you got to recuse yourself. Your kids is going to college for free because you hey, oh boy. Yes, indeed. Uh, Tell them, Mike. Our our other topic, Mike, we talked about, you know, you've only had this happen one time in NBA history where a player has 50 plus points on a team three straight back-to-back -back times, bro. And that was Will Chamberlain. Devin Booker has scored 50 plus points on the Pelicans three straight times back-to-back, -back, bro. That's ridiculous. That's what I, what I told you in our phone call. That's embarrassing, what, Mike. I know. What did I, what, what, what did I tell you in our phone conversation, bro? 
I say I don't feel nobody in the West for our people. <laughs> I don't see it, but the Denver Nuggets and the damn Phoenix Suns. Because I don't know what it is. I don't, was Devin Book supposed to get picked by the Pelicans or something? What is, what is going on? Hit, hit the book up. Let, look, I found out, Mike, his whole family comes to the game and do all, they, they were sitting by me. His grandpa, his daddy, who played in the NBA, Melvin yeah. Booker. Yeah, Melvin Booker. Yeah. 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 Played for the yeah. Lakers. Right. Yep. Play for the so, Lakers. Mm -hmm. Yep. And and everybody's right there. So I think he 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 has to shine for his people. At Miles Point. Miles Point. Yeah, he, you know. He, I, he, I mean. But 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 he, but he but damn, bro. Shine. But damn. Hey, be Mike. killing. He be killing. Mike. It's kind of like how Randy school. Moss used to do the Cowboys, man. Every time we fit, I'm gonna make you pay. <laughs> Three straight times, <laughs> bro. That's, That's 104 a points. He has scored 104 points on the Pelicans the last two times. Himself, and not the team. Plus the last three times. That's unheard that of, bro. Killing. I don't want to play them in the playoffs, man. No, no, no sir. No, no, sir. No. That dude, we fear him. Knock them, knock them off. We fear him. We fear him. Some guards that can 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 guard people. I thought it was Dyson. Harry Jones and the, Dyson, yep, Dyson. Dyson. Alvarado. I know he's small, but like, bro, it didn't matter. It did not matter. That boy was Man, rising dude, up. Look at them, bro. But mm. you know what? Hey, 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 Hakeem, you know this. Sometimes short guards affect better than tall guards. You know, because they be yeah, all because they can get up under you. They yeah. get up under you. They be all up under you. Yeah. yeah. That wasn't yeah. the case. That wasn't the case for Haley Van Lill. <laughs> <laughs> we talk about the men though. <laughs> yeah. Talking about that. LSU follow the eye. We talked about that, Mike. And and and, and the Haley Van Lit on Caitlin Clark. Man, 40 plus I, I was, I was 12 talking, of I was six. talking to King. I was talking yep. to King about that. And King remember. I say, do they not remember the game? With Haley Van Lil playing in Louisville, and she, do they not do they not remember that when Haley Van Lil played at Louisville and what Caitlin did? And Caitlin, exactly. Yep. Caitlin, Caitlin did told, this. Matter of fact, Caitlin told Haley, "Shut up." Yep. Look at the scoreboard. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Just like that, she did last year. It's on. It's Shut on up. YouTube for people who want to see it. It's on Look YouTube for people want to see. Mm -hmm. She Look told her just door, like man. that. Like, 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 and, and Kim Morgan, like I say, I, first of all, my opinion, LSU was better than them people, bro. We all, I we all agree with LSU that. Was better than people. We, we, we agree you with know? that. We, we agree but with that. Kaylin Clark is a phenomenal mm -hmm. generational transcendent player. You know that she was able. She did what a superstar supposed to do: elevate yep. a mediocre team and beat a great team. And, yep. and like I said, our hats off to her. She is definitely one of the greatest women basketball players that ever played the game. You know, I ain't mm -hmm. got over Cheryl Miller. I don't give a damn. She ain't over Cheryl oh, Miller. Fuck. Absolutely not. I ain't got no, over um, Brianna Stewart. I ain't got over the Ryan, yeah, Diana Taurasi either. either. But um, mm -hmm. you know, but but she definitely my top five, absolutely. But um, mm -hmm. but she did what a great player is supposed to do. Ain't no way in here I'm gonna put you in a gold conversation. You ain't won one championship, but I digress. That, that's um, my point. That's my um, point. But like I said, she cold and Kim Mulkey. I did not understand it for the life of me. How in the world? Coach, bro. <laughs> it's kind of like the Larry Bird said. Ignorance. Ignorance. You know, yeah. Larry Bird mm -hmm. used to question opposing coaches and say, how in the hell you can have a white boy on me? White boy on me. Yes. <laughs> Xavier McDaniel said that. The X-Man said that, told that story Larry right there, what you're talking about. Larry Bird told an opposing coach, sound very upset and I'm very disappointed. How you can have to put a white boy on me, man? <laughs> Larry Bird Xavier McDaniel told that player. story. The X Man. I want to go remember. against the Bronx. <laughs> I want to go against the Bronx. I want to. I want to be elevated. Not saying Haley Van Lift 
is 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 just trash. But we just saying like she's been a liability right. on defense, especially against all quick guards all season. year long. Exactly. exactly. You Colorado, 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 Colorado yeah. started it. You man, just what? I say, bro, like, like you. She's out know. of position, man. She's you not a trash player, but she is out of position. Man, and you should have been put. Kim, she uh, you should have been put Flage on. I thought Flage would have been on. Caitlin is somebody you not. Not. But you're not gonna stop her. But at least you can make it a little nah. bit more difficult for her. You know what I'm saying? Right. You you you, you can punch her. You can punch her, but. With that type of handle, with that type of handle, yep. with that type of range, with yep. that type of even gonna go and drive <laughs> inside, you ain't gonna just stop. She a three and D player. A lot of people don't know what that means. That means she can finish with either hand inside. She got a mid range game, mm -hmm. and she can pull that son yep. gun from the parking lot. So it is gonna be hard to stop her. But she yep. was averaging thirty, right? She was averaging thirty a game, right? And she got forty one on thirty. Her. If you would have held mm -hmm. up to her scoring average, which was mm -hmm. thirty. And you lost by seven. That means you could have won. You would have won the four. game by four. <laughs> you could have won the game by four points. That's what I'm saying. So you got to blame that That's solely on coaching, bro. You got to blame that solely on coaching. You know. You know. You do. She didn't adjust. She let the girl and the left arm there get cooked. Mike, Mike, how many fans break points they got, brother? We would not get back oh on God. defense. We would Man, not I'm get back on their defense. Yeah, and I was talking about that too. Uh, me and King talked about that too, and I talked yep. to Van Vincent about that, and my cousin them and stuff, uh, Vance and stuff, was at the Levan, and uh, Mar, and I was basically talking about. I noticed when Haley Van Lil and Michaela Williams, you know, what I'm saying, got their little shoe. They she got wasn't getting back. Yes, they indeed. Got they yes, got sir. No, y'all oh, old. No, little bit. So, so, oh, but, Haley well, <laughs> I mean, Michaela, Michaela is a little tank. Yeah, she Michaela got, got some big. Yeah, yeah she got no. a thing. I'm like, bro, what? I know you, food down there pretty good, but um, you want them down there cold little slow? I'm talking. I don't know. And so that's what we may need to look at. How many fast break? How many chair points? They got it. Well, we call it cherry picking because they show up lobbed it down now, free layup. You know, I'm like, yeah, man. I'm they, you they look like they were out of shape. How they, yeah, how they let the white girl get past them. You know what I'm saying? For a free layup. And we know that we know yeah. that they better athletes. It's just like but yeah, every time yeah. you looked up, Caitlin was throwing the dog on yeah, right. she was yeah, she, she was throwing the pass. Oh, as great boy. as she can score, as great as she can score. She's dribble, even better pass. She mm -hmm. is a phenomenal passer. Like, like if yes, there's somebody indeed. that can play in the WNBA that can transition to point guard, oh, it's her. her. She is yeah. a phenomenal basketball player. She is. Yeah. She is. Yeah. yeah I bro. mean, they was keying on her so much. They was keying on her so much. Literally, I watched Angel Reese, Anissa Morrow, and Haley Van Lill. All like trying to get out the there. Ball, they sitting up there when she was at that top right hand corner. You saw it. They looking dead at her. Old girl just slid on through the through the line. It just it was an easy free pass on oh. layup. I said, yeah. I oh. said, yeah. She the truth. She the truth. Mm -hmm. She the truth. <laughs> she the truth. <laughs> you got to worry about her. But yeah. uh, there's yeah. another. There's another white girl Man, to say. She was the difference. I'm looking at the <laughs> stats. Um, we both they had Come 12 turnovers. We had 13. So that was pretty even. Okay. And, um, each team had six steals. Uh, we had more blocks, but you know we got more athletic. We out rebounded them. We out rebounded them 55 37. 23 to 6 offensive rebound. 23 offensive left, rebound. You know who was missing? Yeah, that's another thing. Like Angel and, and, and Anissa couldn't put the ball back in the basket after they got the dog on rebound. Right. They kept missing. Ain't no way we should have lost. Mike, offensive rebounds 23 to 6. 23 offensive rebounds. Offense, that's just on the offensive end. We, uh, that's literally, we got that's 23 literally, rounds. That's literally four times as much as ours. You got second chance rebounds. You couldn't. Total rebounds. You can't tell that ain't coaching, bro. 54 total rebounds, 54 to 36. Yeah. Bro, we out rebounded them by almost 20. And that yeah, look, Pat Riley said the best. 
Yeah, Pat Riley said it best. No rebounds, no rings. We rebounded the basketball. Mm-hmm. They didn't have a shot on, on, uh, on the inside. They had no inside presence. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It's the small things that cost us. Right. Getting back yeah, door. How many times did they get? Mm-hmm. Go ahead, Mike. Kaylin Clark, Kaylin Clark wheels her team against yep. them to beat them. Like, I'm not yep. blaming no refs. I'm not blaming none mm-hmm. of that. Oh, no. Like, it ain't got, it ain't right got nothing now, to do with that. She straight wheeled the team to and beat them, you know. And yes, sir. Like I know that um, what's her name got hurt. You know, when she hurt her ankle, she wasn't ankle. really the same after that. Angel, she hurt her ankle, but still in all, the defensive job against Kaitlyn Clark was, was trash. a disaster. Was trash. Yeah, uh, uh, was uh, total. Trash. Trash. I right. mean, she, uh, I mean, she is like she was laughing at Haley Van Lip. Like y'all really Bruh. doing this right now? Like this, this, this really what y'all coming over here? With? That that was a breach in <laughs> security, bro. <laughs> that was a breach at homeland security, bro. You know, but shouts out to him, man. I look forward to seeing that UConn against Paige, Paige uh, yep. B- Beckers, was- man. I look forward mm-hmm. to see that. I look forward yeah. to seeing that. But I don't give a damn who win it. Who you got, Mike? UConn, UConn against Iowa and South Carolina against NC State. We already said. South Carolina mm-hmm. winning the whole damn thing. I don't give a damn who That's it is. I South said. Carolina winning the whole damn thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I'm South Carolina winning the whole damn thing. I keep saying, too. Hakeem said UConn gonna take care of our. This is a possibility because Gino Oriyama not gonna do that, right? Gino, he, he's Oriyama not gonna not let gonna sit up. There. He's not right and allow he's not the best just player sit up there. Just let her just annihilate. Mm-hmm. Like, like she may get mm-hmm. hurt because, like I say, Kayla yeah. got a baby, right? But he's not finna sit up there and just let somebody just just straight just nah just. Mm-mm. He's not finna do that. And and you know but what else gonna happen? And that girl, and that girl pays better. She liked that. She liked that. But she was the player of the year in 2021. She was the she was the one the wall player of the year. She was the national player of the year as a freshman. She can hoop. Yeah. You know what I'm yeah, saying? And you know what else she's gonna do? She's gonna help. She's gonna make Caitlin work on the other end. LSU didn't attack Caitlin Clark. They didn't seek her out. They didn't hunt her. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Caitlin Clark got called for two fouls the entire game. That should tell you. That should tell you. They didn't even attack. Mm-mm. They didn't even go at. They didn't make her work. You what know I what I'm like saying? About Paige, what I like about Paige Beckers, what I saw when they went against USC, she took on the mm-hmm. challenge and wanted to face Juju. She did, and going. she guarded her. Yep, and she guarded, she guarded her. her. Said, that's what I'm talking about. I, yep. I said that's what I'm talking about right there. Yep, no fear. No, we talk about no Kayla Clark offensive game. We talk about our offensive game when she is elite. Mm-hmm. But yeah, I would have liked to see them challenge her defensively. And I yep. think that was that was last year's difference in last year's LSU team where they had terrific guard play. It was attacking Kaitlyn Clark. Alexis, on, on, yeah. Alexis made her work her. too. Yes, sir. Alexis her. made her work. You know, Alexis and, and, made her work. You know, they was attacking her. Like I said, she's still mm-hmm. a phenomenal player, but you gotta attack her. I gotta see if yes, you really sir. built like that, Jack. Mm, yep. You know. Yes, indeed. Well, it's Pell's time. It's Pell's time, baby. I'm glad my boy, I'm glad my boy hey, Mike, got on, though. Mike, I'm thank glad you my boy coming, got on. Thank you for coming in at the end. Uh, yeah. Yeah, coming in, man. We always love yeah. your and everything, bro. So I appreciate you coming in at the end. But like I yeah, said, I we- seen y'all on here talking about P. did and all that other stuff. You know P. did to get people whacked. Y'all better <laughs> stop that, bro. <laughs> He ain't lying, you bro. Stop talking about that, bro. He ain't lying. Hey, why you think well, I gave it to Hakeem? Why you think I gave it to Hakeem? I said Hakeem. Yeah, hey, okay. Yeah, I, I'm about to, since y'all said that, I'm about to go hide in the Calio project. I got locked <laughs> on. I, I got a lot of trap doors in there. If you want to come hey. in there and get me, yep. Man, Tell them to come on through. Hey, I know look, some killers. It's a people. He did it. I know some killers. Yes, sir. <laughs> Y'all find out that I was throwing in the river, then that, that's what happened. No, that wasn't no. me. Hey, that wasn't me, Pete Daddy. I ain't say nothing. I just came on here and know I don't want to tear none of your parties, but that wasn't me, bro. I tell you what, yes, Cat Williams, man, yeah, maybe we should go by Cat Williams' house. We'd be safe over there because he, yeah. yeah. he ain't scared yeah. of nobody. Yeah. Cat Williams. Nope. <laughs> that wasn't me, bro. Yes, indeed. <laughs> I'll go hide yeah. the trap door back in the Cali. Hey. Hey, we thank everybody for tuning in, man. Our uh, regulars. Thank y'all. Uh, the new people. We thank y'all for com- uh, tuning in. 
We're gonna go watch the trails, man. And uh we'll be on uh next week at the same bat time, same bat channel. And remember, like, share, and remember, subscribe. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And also remember, it's nothing personal, just straight big. Right. See you next week on Tell it like it is, baby. Yeah, outside right. some charity hospital. That's what's up. Yes, sir. Y'all go ahead and get it on. Night, right, good people. Man. We're gonna go yes. out with Louisiana Die Hard, man. Yes, sir. All right, hey, I'm gonna give you a holler. All right, Mike. All right. It's the beat for you. This for my N O U I S I A N A T I E A A R D. Louisiana Dow Dow Louisiana Dow Dow Super D Dow Dow Louisiana Dow Dow Super D Black and gold is what I bleed. Bleed Saints football is what I need. I need Louisiana Dow. Gumbo and jambalaya is what I'm fed. I love my saints, is all I'm saying. Uh -huh. I go down with my boys and I'm not playing. Not playing. I go by soul, or call me a saint. Who <laughs> mess with me or my team? And then I ain't. Uh -huh. I rock my tigers, my pearls, my black and gold. Uh -huh. Come get a sample, and you'll be sold. Late Charles to Slidell, we go off. Uh -huh. Shreveport all the way down to that door. Uh -huh. We got the wizard, the king, and we got soul. And any others want to ride? Time, time to roll uh -huh. to all the haters. I know you're scarred. You can't stop a Louisiana die hard. Going to have a fall. The season after season, all we do is straight ball. Yeah.